Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, Robert here, you can call me Bobby though, and today we're using IBM Cognos Analytics version 11.1.6 to do a dashboard presentation here. Now as you can see here, today we're taking airline satisfaction data and I decided to really finesse this dashboard um, and using some fictional airline data we decided to use for this. So real quick, I'm just gonna explain uh, what you're seeing here and then what we can learn from it going forward if you're from the perspective of a company, for example. So on the top left, we have overall satisfaction. And in the top right, percent of flight of people that fly with other airlines. So you wanna keep that number low, of course, to retain your customer base. So average customer satisfaction by age range. Um, you can see here it actually decreases with age. So you'd wanna offer some sort of senior perks or um, benefits if you're a senior or you know up there in age past you know middle age or something like that uh, for, as an example one thing you could do second thing here we have average customer satisfaction by airline class slash gender now not too much going on here um, but I'm sure if you filter by other airlines you will see some big di bigger differences so we go down here arrival delay greater than five minutes pretty simple pie chart it's a yes or no um, in the case of only Jets Airlines, which is what we're filtering up here in this data player, you can filter, you can also filter by any other airline data that we have available up here. You can see here, a little bit high actually, 37.7%. Maybe you want to convene some sort of task force responsible for um, speeding up the logistics process, maybe the luggaging or um, the flying or air traffic control, maybe even as far as that, even though that can be sometimes hard to control as an airline corporation. And you can see down here, flight canceled, yes or no. Of course, it's gonna be mostly yes. You don't wanna have a lot of canceled flights. And in the case of this, only Jets Airlines, they do a pretty good job of not getting flights canceled. Over here, it's a bubble, uh, bubble chart, average customer satisfaction by number of uh, grouped flights yearly. So you can see here the general trend is people that fly less per year are easier to satisfy. Bubbles are more prevalent for the people that fly less. For example, 0, 1 to 10 is much more prevalent. Now people that are harder to satisfy are frequent flyers. So for example, 81 to 90 is the hardest group to satisfy. Average satisfaction of 2. So maybe you want to consider offering some frequent flyer perks and some um, refreshments or discounts for them, for that group. This is also a scatter plot down here you can use to filter by um, average flight time by average late average late arrival delay time. And I also decided to include a map here, satisfactions by order state. You can see here by only Jet's perspective, um, Texas, New Mexico order states, or uh, orders that are coming out of those states are actually quite difficult to end up satisfying. So you maybe want to look into those states and maybe um, offer some discounted rates if possible or figure out some other benefits to retain those people there, keep them from, keep them sticking with your airline, increase your profits there. You can also see, um, this is a, a line chart I did, decided to include, departure and arrival delays by the day of month. Departure delays in red and blue is arrival delays. Now, the general trend from the perspective of only jets is actually the first week for the most part of each month, there's actually a lot of delays. So you may wanna look into why that's happening, um, put together a task force or group to figure out why and how we can improve that. Also on the 21st and a little bit on the 29th, um, a little bit interesting there because those are out of the blue within the rest of the month because it looks like it's a little much lower and linear the rest of the month. So figure out, maybe we need to figure out why it's happening. Um, and with that, that actually concludes our presentation. Um, thank you for watching.